Okay, a lot of people have been interested in doing some more SmartFox tutorials. Um, last time I was working on an avatar chat room and I got it working on my website, so I have it live. If you go to dancecourses.com and you click on Dance Chat Room, you'll get a message that says you need to log in to use the chat room. And this is pretty cool because I was able to pass the username, my login username, directly to the SmartFox um, avatar chat room. So what I do is I log in here, Dan, and I put in my my actual login, right? So I do an actual login here and click login and avatar chat automatically connects and my login name is sent and there's my avatar and my name there is right there, Dan, and I can send a chat. Hello. And then you click send and there's the chat, right? And somebody else could join the room and I could have chat, right? So, and it also works with only logged in users. So it's pretty cool. And I'm going to show you how I did it. First, I'll focus on the Flash stuff on how I did this. And then I'll show you the Joomla stuff for how I put it on this Joomla database uh, content management system, which is a database driven website with uh, um, PHP and a MySQL database. And then the Flash movies in there. So. First, I'll talk about the Flash stuff, okay? Now, the Flash stuff, the Flash end, all right? Here is the avatar chat, right? And I did a couple of things here that to change it, and I'll just show you the quick changes that I made. So, you've got the opening um, login here, right? Uh, code there, and then you hit, on this frame, you connect, and then on this frame, you chat. So, on the connect, frame under the action script, the little A, open up your action script window. I'll show you the code that I changed. Right. Well, first of all, um, you know, I want to point out something up here at the top. Right on the top it says that it's going to import it.gotoandplay.smartfoxserver.asterisk. This means that it's importing the it folder, right? And then this is the um, Flash API for SmartFox, right? So you have to have this in the same folder with the Flash file, okay? Otherwise, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work, right? So um, right now, this file that I'm w working with right off the desktop, it's not going to work because it's on the desktop, and there's no it folder here on the desktop. But if I go in the SmartFox folder, you'll see here's some other files I was playing with. You'll see there's the it folder there's the lib folder, right? So once again, it's trying to import an it folder and inside of it go to and play inside of that SmartFox and inside ed all the files in there. And it wants to include the lib folder and these flash action script files. So it's looking for two folders. It better be in the same folder directory where your flash file's at. Next thing, to prepare mine to work live, I had to change the IP address from 127.0.0.1 to the IP address where my F SmartFox server is located, right? So I had to change that to the actual IP address of my SmartFox server. Next thing, on this one of the first functions, handle connection success, I commented out, I put in these two comments, these three comments here, in front of the normal connected please log in and then show login, and then there's a button, and on release, send the login. Instead, I just said, send login. So if we connect and there's success, automatically send the login, right? No button to click on, because I don't want you to have to fill in your password and do that. I just want to log you in automatically if I can get your username from the Joomla website. So then, in the function send login, so we just said we're just going to send the login. Now we go look at the send login function, and in here, what I did was is I um, commented out the SmartFox login that was here originally. It looked like this, okay? And I put in, I copied it, I commented out this one, the normal one, and put in my own which is almost the same except in this middle field instead of the text boxes text which would be your login name I send it a variable excuse me I send it a variable called underscore root 
dot the name. And this is a variable that I'm going to pass to Flash from the Joomla website. Okay, so underscore root dot the name. So um, and this is a variable that's going to pass instead of whatever normally you'd put in the user text box. Okay, and uh, I'll show you how that works. All right, and that's it. That was all of the stuff I did to the Flash file. Now I saved it, right? And I put it, and uh, I put this file, the avatar chat file, and the it folder, and the lib folder onto my, my web server. And I'll show you that now. So if you go to web server, if you go to my website, and I'm going to go to, this is the back end of my Joomla site, and I can go to this um, file manager to show you the files. So in the file manager, inside of this folder I called media, which is inside of a folder called images, there's the images folder, and here's the media folder. There is an it folder in there, and a lib folder, and a file called danschat.swift. Right, so there's my file, right? danschat.swift, right, with the it and the lib, and it's all set, so I've put it into my... Um, Joomla site. Now the other piece for Joomla that you need is I installed a um, tool a component called Joomi which allows me to put some PHP code right into my articles. So if you go to Joomi you can create a little PHP application. So you click new application and I made one called Dan's Chat and I'll grab this code and I'll put it and the code goes right in here you give it a title, Dan's Chat, you give it an alias, you have to give it an alias, and then you have some code here. And I'll copy that and I'll paste it into a program so that you can see it. Let's see here. Um, no, that's not going to be good. Where should we paste it? Um, I'll tell you what, I'll show you this code in the next movie on how to implement um, this, because I'll want to show it to you, you probably want to see it.